Are there any young players now that you especially like? As several young bands locally around our region here that we every chance we get we try to use like skinny legs and all and uh they are, they that's a very young group uh and very outstanding group uh we have another group that's going to join with us in greenville called east Rains. they're going to be outstanding too they're just teenagers very early teenagers so we have quite a few people that's interested in the blues and we're going to school and teach them. <laughs> you know, when they see, when you see young kids, as an example of a young, bunch of young kids playing, that's what you need is to, is to get the young kids up and interested in the music. And, and, and when, when you have a bunch of younger kids who are skilled players and they, they start making a splash, all the other kids look at them and go, you know, that is pretty cool. I think I'm going to do that. You know, I think I want to try that. There's something about that I didn't know about before. That's the secret, you know, get a lot of kids involved, and once they get real skilled and start making a name for themselves, other kids are going to pick up on that. It happened in school. That's right. <clears throat> every time, excuse me, every time we play blues in the schools, uh, we're asked if someone would like to come up and play an instrument. Everyone sit around and look at each other. And as soon as the first one come up, we can't keep the rest of them off the stage because there's something new for them and children always looking for something new. And blues is one of them for most of the children because music for them is in a whole different, coming from a different direction. Uh, this is a very spiritual situation when you start dealing with the blues and somehow you can't get away from it. It's just keeps coming after you and you you got to produce something <laughs> i've got a couple of guys here in north carolina that i work with sometimes i just put them in my band and say you play bass a little bit i'll make sure you get to play your guitar too one of them is named matt walsh from uh, statesville and he plays quite a bit in north carolina the other one is matt hill from greensboro and both of them uh, remind me, Max, they need to be on the guest list tonight. <laughs> they're, coming, they're, they're coming down, but they're, they're both guitar players with, and, and singers with a lot of fire for the music that we love. They not only uh, play it well, they not only have uh, studied the, um, the albums of people, but they, they perform it well. well they, they put on a show when they play, which is part of the tradition, too. It's not just something you hear and reproduce on the bandstand with a blank look on your face. Matt Hill and Matt Walsh, I'm really excited about, and they're right here in North Carolina. Tell us a little bit, Mac, about the festival. And this is all a benefit for the I Can Do Anything Foundation. That is correct. That is our nonprofit, and we are doing it to benefit the public schools and try to put funds back into the music and the arts and public schools. That's yeah, just a wonderful endeavor. And we've also got the, the CEO of the I Can Do Anything Foundation on hand, Clark Smith. And you can find out more about this nonprofit at ICanDoAnythingFoundation.org. Welcome, Clark. Hey, thank you. It's All nice right. To be here. Tell us a little bit more about the foundation and, and how that's been going. Well, the foundation started as a uh, natural progression from Max Blues in the Schools program. Uh, he had already started working with students around the country as well as over in Europe. And about a year ago, we are looking how to take it to the next level. And so we thought with all of the spending cuts that are affecting public schools all over the world, that we could come up with a, a format to give money back to the schools. So instead of them paying for performances, we would teach them how to cultivate their musical talent in the same way they cultivate their athletic talent. So the I Can Do Anything Foundation, which comes from Max Uplifting Song, I Can Do Anything that's always been performed with the students. Uh, we've created a foundation to provide money back to the schools through performances that include the marching bands, the choirs, and standout musicians from the different public schools. And that's really good because maybe a lot of people don't know, but public schools aren't exactly... Uh, as equipped as they were in, say, 20, 30 years back when I was in public school to be able to, to have instruments, to be able to, to teach these things to the students? Well, it, it's amazing that um, they've shown that test scores in all other subjects increase when students are involved in music and arts. 
and unfortunately these are the first areas that are cut because they have to keep a certain curriculum going and it's unfortunate that so many students are being left without music programs in their schools. And you can find out more about the foundation that this benefits, the I Can Do Anything Foundation dot org. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Pleasure. Yes, thank you so much. We're going to send it now to Roland Deroff. Roland? Roland?